What's up everybody? I recorded this video you about to see and it got corrupted, but I saved it before it got corrupted. This is just a little intro to that video. These are gonna be things that girls find attractive. Now it's definitely gonna switch up. It's gonna be a different day, different background, different hoodie, different everything. What are five things that you find attractive? Post in the comments. Sunny Daniel Enterprises. everybody if you're new to the channel man make sure you subscribe comment down below like the video and turn on them notifications man i'm gonna be posting videos every day sometime every couple days so make sure y'all turn on them post notifications so you know when i post so today we're gonna be going over 10 things girls find attractive just from my own personal experience and i want y'all to let me know what you think down in the comments some of the things that maybe i missed some of the things that maybe you could add to the list and maybe i'll make a follow-up video number one confidence confidence is key man i know every single youtuber that does these type of videos says confidence is number one and they do it for a reason it's true it's true man and this is in females and men it's like a energy man it's a vibe around a person you can't be out here man shy head down none of these are really in order but that's definitely number one number two is having nice stuff man like and i don't mean that in no gold digger type way i mean like dress nice it don't have to be gucci fendi it don't have to be all that but it's got to be nice you got to wear nice clothes make sure your clothes is clean make sure your outfits is fresh make sure your shoes is fresh make sure everything is clean everything is nice if you're riding around in your in your ford or buick make sure it's clean make sure the inside is clean make sure it smell good it's nice stuff but it's not like you gotta have a beam you gotta have a bands to get a girl but you do need to make sure what you have is nice just show that you got something about yourself and you're not some like slob which leads me to number three you gotta have some kind of goals in life man you gotta have ambition i mean what girl want to be with a dude to just want to sit around and watch football games or like eat chips and play Fortnite. Like nobody wants to be with that. She gotta see that you at least have some kind of fire in your soul, ambition. Even if you ain't somebody successful right now, if she sees that you're trying, like say you take a guitarist, right? Dude playing the guitar, he, he broke, he living in his mama basement, but he playing this guitar and he passionate about this guitar because it's an ambition type thing. He's somebody that they can help reach his goals. So ambition I'd say is number three. Number four, girls look at teeth a lot. I didn't really know that until like later. But yeah, it's not a huge thing. Like if your teeth are messed up, I mean, definitely try and get them, you know, corrected. But they do look at teeth, man. It's little tiny stuff sometimes the girls pick up on and maybe dudes don't pick up on. And teeth is definitely one of them. Number five, forearms, veins in the hands, uh, forearm muscles, little stuff that a man doesn't even know she's looking at, she's looking at. And number six, is don't be too thirsty. When you're texting a girl, man, don't be thirsty, but don't be too silent. It's a sweet spot when you're talking to a girl, texting a girl in this first stage of you first meeting a girl a balance i do it unintentionally just because i'm always so busy i'm either editing i'm doing photos I'm, I'm always doing something so i'm always busy so i don't have time to sit around and just text a girl all day like i'm busy a lot of dudes that aren't busy they ain't doing nothing they just sit around and text a girl if she don't text back in 20 30 minutes she's like oh man where's she at where's she at what's she doing she with another dude like you sitting around just bugging like that's something you definitely do not need to be doing man like that is a huge turn off to girls i'm telling Telling you, telling you, man, I didn't talk to a lot of girls and I know this. Make sure you stay in the balance and you don't want to be on too far on the other edge either where it's like you don't even care. Like you're not texting at all because at that point it's like, you know, you obviously aren't interested. She don't text you back for an hour, two hours. Don't trip. Just let it sit. Just don't trip. Do something else. And she'll text you back when she get ready to text you back. If she don't text you back, she obviously ain't interested. Which takes me back to number one, confidence. Have confidence in yourself, man. If she texts you, cool. If she don't text you, she missed out. That's how I look look at it i mean it's just like if i'm texting somebody and then they just go ghost on me like hey you missing out like somebody else gonna come along and snatch me away so it's like you missing out number one man confidence i'm telling you confidence is number one on this list because it really changes your whole way of thinking of everything so yeah don't be too thirsty man don't blow up the girl phone don't sit around and question everything she doing if she go out with her friends don't sit around and be like hey how many dudes gonna be there what's gonna be this how many are you drinking you like trust who you talking to man if you're talking to a party girl 
girl and you pick that up, know it mentally and decide what you're going to do. Don't just keep bugging somebody about what they're doing because people don't like that, man. I mean, would you like that? You know what I'm saying? Just think about it like that. Would you like that? So I say number seven is having options. And I'm not saying you out here playing people and stuff like that. What I'm saying is like, she know that she can't slack. She can't lack, man. She cannot be sitting around playing if she wants you because the other three girls also want you. And it just gives you a little bit of a, a confidence thing. You're not stressing. You're not all up on this one girl because it's like your only girlfriend that you've ever had or any girl that's ever given you attention. And that's how you acting. You don't want to act like that. Number eight is body type. Now, this is all up for interpretation on who you talking to and what you're dealing with. But I've noticed that girls do not like extremely skinny men and extremely big men. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere in between there, I think you're pretty much good. That's just my personal opinion. You can't be like, what's old boy's name with the long neck? Can't be like long neck. But you also can't be like my 600 pound life. I mean, it's girls that are like that too though. It's girls that like everything. But I'm just saying the majority. We putting this on the majority level. Number nine. Number nine is have things in common with her. If she like playing Fortnite, if you like playing Fortnite, say she likes dancing and you like dancing. It's something that y'all can bond on. It's something you can talk about. something that creates conversation. And I think ultimately it's something that girls find attractive when a man is somewhat into what they into. You don't have to be into everything they into. But say you like a Netflix series and she like the same Netflix series. Like, I think that's a, a thing that girls find attractive. Maybe not, but I think that it does help create conversation and it makes it a little bit easier to talk to each other. So I would say that's number nine. And number 10, number 10 to end this off is her type. And I say her type, that's height, gender, eyes, eyebrows, facial hair, that's all of that. Everybody has somewhat of a type and everybody's not gonna fit that type. So if you're talking to a girl that likes dark skinned men with bald heads that are built like the rock and you are a skinny white kid from Tennessee, it could happen. I'm not saying it couldn't happen because it can't happen. I'm just saying know who you're dealing with. And that's why I leave that at number 10 is just her type, man. All up to what the girl is attracted to. And at the end of the day, every girl ain't gonna be attracted to you. No matter if you fit all nine of them things and she's just not attracted to you, she ain't gonna be attracted to you. Every girl ain't gonna like no matter what you do, no matter how you look, every girl ain't gonna like you. That's just the reality of humans. You know what I'm saying? Like it does not matter. If somebody likes you, they gonna like you. If they don't, ain't nothing you can do that's gonna make them like you and be attractive to them if you're not attractive. So let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Let me know in the comments what's 10 things, ladies, that you find attractive in a man. See if I matched up any of the things that y'all find attractive. And if y'all like this video, man, say this video get like 500 likes or something, you know, something casual, then I'll be doing a follow-up video, 10 things that guys find attractive for all the girls that's wondering what we find attractive. Because I'm pretty sure y'all want to know that too. So let me know in the comments, like the video, turn on the notifications, subscribe for more videos like this, man. We're going to be putting out a lot of content like this in the 2019. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. Let me see you.